Hello again. So I'm going to go ahead and log back in as an officer. You can do this in any role of the system, but I'd like to show you how to search for reports. So having the ability to search for something at the click of a button can save a ton of time and effort and grief for that matter. Uh, I've been in examples where people have looked on their network drive for a document and that could take untold number of hours. Within Precinct, since we're storing data in the database, you can find it pretty much lickety split. So go ahead and click search. I can search by any of these criteria here. The nice thing about our search feature, one of, one of, the, one of the benefits is that they're, they're not case sensitive. So you don't have to know how somebody typed it in. So if I want to look for something that, let's say, I'm looking for that Main Street application. So I want to, see, I want to find incidents that happen on Main Street, quote unquote, or room 242 in my hotel, whatever the case might be. You can type in Main Street. Go ahead and click the search button. And you'll see here I have two reports in here that happen on Main Street. And I'm just going to go ahead and open the first one here that's in complete status. Go ahead and open it. You'll see here, this is again the final archived PDF I can't change. You'll see here that I wrote Main Street in all caps. And again, you don't want to have to know whether Officer you know, A wrote it in Main Street, all caps, or Main Street, all lowercase, or it was a capital M or a capital S. Again, with the search feature, boom. So the great thing about the search is I can cross-reference this. So if I want to look at anything that happened in the Main Street that was a theft, for example, I go ahead and click search. So I'm looking up things that happened on Main Street. I want to know all the thefts that happened on Main Street, or I want to know all the burglaries that happened in room 262, or I want to know any type of information that's cross-referenced. So I can go ahead, and these are both actually theft reports that happened on Main Street. How about we have a theft where there's a vehicle with uh, 5 RBC 120 license plate. So we want to know the theft from vehicle that had that plate. Go ahead and click search, and there's that report. I can actually print it straight from here. So what I've done is I said I want a theft where this vehicle was involved, I want to just print it from here, hit print selected reports, and it just pulls up a bulk PDF. And here it is. So we have a theft that happened on Main Street, of course, because I love Main Street. But you'll see that it was a Honda Accord with this specific license plate. So again, having the ability to search that easily within the system saves people a ton of time. Example that I, one customer that we have that was a good example is, it's usually the manager who's searching for information, and the manager is actually the highest paid employee in the facility, whether it's, a, you know, the, the chief is searching, the GM of the hotel is searching, who's ever searching, they're looking for that information, they need it right away, and they generally, okay, it's going to take me several hours to find this because I don't know where it is, got to look over here, got to look over here, that can take a ton of time, you know, at $40, $50, $60 an hour, that sort of tax up or sort of increases over time, if you will. Having precinct, it took three minutes, took three seconds to find that specific report. So the search feature definitely everybody raves about. 